Hi guys, welcome to this video. I wanted to take a few minutes to make a video about how we feed our horses. Um, I'm gonna try and move over into the feed room. It's being used right now, but I wanted to show you guys the feed room um, and explain how we feed our horses, how much they get, what they get. Um, I really wanted to make this video at our old barn. It just never seemed to work out time-wise, but today is the day, so let's get on with the video. So uh, this is the feed room for the whole entire barn. Um, the lady who owns this place has an entire system that clearly is superior to anything I have ever seen before. Uh, it's got the fridge we can store stuff in, medicines and foods. It's got a wash bucket over there. It has got every kind of system that you could ever imagine. So everybody gets one bucket for their food um, per horse. So we get two of these buckets, which works out really well because we actually feed two different kinds of feed. So that's what I'm gonna tell you about how our horses are fed. So especially Stella. So basically Stella's on a diet. She, based on her weight, which we weigh her every single month, um, she has to have 18 pounds of hay a day. So that's what she's, seems strict but that's based on her weight that's what she needs is 18 pounds of hay a day and so when she loses weight again and in a month we'll reassess her and she'll get less again but that's what she's on so at this barn she's fed hay three times a day she wakes up in the morning in her stall and she gets grain and then she goes outside into the paddock and she has whatever hay um, it, they give them out there I don't know how many pounds it is actually um, but she has her hay outside and then when she comes in a little later, um, around four o'clock in the uh, in the afternoon, um, she has four pounds of hay again. And then they do um, checks at 10 p.m. at this barn. They do like a nighttime check, and they get another four pounds of hay in their stall. So their feed is spread out sporadically. And most of the horses at this barn are on grass, so they're eating all day. Plus three times a day they're getting hay, and they're all getting the grain that they need. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Um, there is another option as well here. If we at any time feel like our horses are not getting enough hay or losing weight, we have an option that we can pay and give them more hay. So, what kind of grain do we feed? Basically, um, this is the grain that we feed. It's called Cadence Ultra for performance horses. This is what they were on at our other barn. And um, so we carried it on over here. Storm gets five cups of this two times a day. So he's actually getting a lot of grain. He gets 10 cups of grain a day. Um, that's just like one small cup, 10 small cups of grain. Um, so he gets that and Stella does not get this at all. She doesn't get any grain like this at all. This is 14% fat, 14% fiber. Um, it gives more calories. Uh, it has probiotics, although we have run um, we have done courses of, of probiotics on their own as well. We've done three months at a time um, and we will be doing that again. The other grain that they get twice a day is they just get a small amount of it. Storm gets two cups, Stella gets one cup and I don't see any of it left here so it must be all in a bucket and I don't know where our bucket is. Um, what that stuff is called is grow and win. I'll find the information and put it somewhere here so that you guys can read what that is about. But basically, it is a type of grain um, used specifically to give them vitamins and minerals and all the things that they need. And um, it's rumored to really have um, help with building a top line. I know you need to exercise to get a top line, but it also has um, a benefit, uh, the benefit of that. And some of you guys might not know, but Storm really has changed over the last few months since we started him on that. His top line has increased um, dramatically, actually, um, with very little work on his top line from Gabby. Although she's been working him, those kind of exercises, she's not really, she's just starting to learn. So, um, yeah, they get two kinds of grain. Stella only gets the grow and win, which is all the vitamins and all the nutrients. They also, at this barn, get salt added to their food daily. Um, some barns 
use salt licks. This barn puts salt specifically on their food. Um, our horses also have a uh, salt lick in their stall or they're about to. We took them from the other barn. We just haven't hooked them up yet. And Stella's is a mineral one and Storm's is a regular cobalt one. And the reason that, that um, we changed Storm from the mineral one is because there's a mineral in that salt lick that he did, was getting in his feed as well. And we don't want to have too much of that. Another thing that our horses are getting is um, Stella gets this for her joints. Um, basically, anecdotally, um, people find that this stuff works. Um, this is actually the one that we were supposed to buy with, with the plus on it, but we couldn't find it. That's our bottle as well. And these are Stella's pain pills. Stella gets this and her Prevacox. Storm and Stella get gastric FX. This is, again, another thing that's just anecdotally um, that seems to work for some horses and it's really, really working for Storm. Stella just started on this. Um, it is, both of these products are completely natural. Um, uh, this one just kind of coats the belly, kind of like Pepto-Bismol, um, and makes sure that um, he doesn't get ulcers. It's kind of like a preventative and it really has changed his life. Um, so both of the horses get this, Stella gets this, and she gets a pain pill every day. Another thing that I really liked about our old barn is that the vet was there all the time. Um, this barn uses a different vet and it may be that we'll need to switch over at some point, but our current vet has all of her records and we'll be using him um, just to start off on. But at our old barn, he would drop by, take a look at Stella all the time. Um, and now at this barn, um, because they use a different barn, we'll just have to call him when we need him. And he is going to be scheduled to come soon to uh, check on her, check on her progress. I think he will be so surprised by the weight loss um, and happy. And like I said before, it, um, the weight loss is imperative for her to have better treatment options for her fusing hawk, better injection options. So yeah, those are, um, and that is how they are fed. Um, we do also feed treats, usually carrots or apples. I know that they are both um, kind of more sugary treats, but that's what we feed. And they love that. And because we're here five days a week, they get that five days a week. So definitely should add it, should be added in their caloric intake for the day. So I can't think of any other questions that you guys had, but that is what they um, eat currently. They also are dewormed here every three months, just like at our other barn was fanatical about deworming every three months. Um, this barn totally takes care of it as well. One thing I like about this barn as well is that because there are so many people here, not just one instructor managing everything, um, everybody has their own way, a different way. So this barn is super, um, laid back and we kind of feel like we have a little bit more options here. Like if we wanted to make a change, it'd be, um, a little bit easier. Not that it was hard before, but it'd be a little bit easier because it's more casual somehow. Like at the other barn, Fiona knew our horses better than we knew our horses. And she was like in charge of all of us. We were all her kids. It, it felt like we were all her horses. But, but at this barn, we kind of have to take the upper hand and make the choices. And we are learning and we are uh, growing as a horse family. And um, obviously leave your comments below about what you think about the feeding program and any suggestions you have for either of the horses that you might think um, would be beneficial for them. But keep in mind that we do live in Canada and a lot of the things that are um, in different areas we can't get here. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.